Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of other categories too, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, if not twice. Whenever I announce giveaways, there is always a secret password giveaway going on. And of of course whenever I go live as always if you're already subscribed thanks again so much for being here and welcome back today I have the May my Ireland box to share with you and it has been sent to me for review all the way from Dingle Ireland for a variety of reasons I'm a little bit late in getting this posted but I'm so excited to have it in my hot little hands at last it's probably good anyway because I know that Catherine the owner and curator of this box does like to wait until all of the subscribers have received their box before doing the full reveal but that is what I have for you today and then hopefully the June box is close on its heels this box is $49.95 US per month plus $15.50 in shipping all the way to the US and she always puts so much thought and so much care into the curation it's always featuring beautiful products from Ireland so this is a great gift box as well to anyone who really has an affinity for Irish culture and heritage or if you just kind of love the fun of getting something an international package in the mail so let's go ahead and open it up so wow this one is really full of content so I'm gonna go ahead and pull things out because I know that usually she has the little booklet that she puts together each month at the bottom so let me see if I can dive in wow you guys this box is so full every once in a while we'll have like maybe just three or four items but this one has so many items for me to share with you this time around so all right here we go I think I may have finally gotten to it yes so there's also a Always a recipe and I'm just gonna share the recipe with you real quick because look how delicious that looks it's like chocolate topped rice crispy treats or something that looks so so good so this is Kate's Mars bar buns oh those look amazing so let me just tell you the ingredients it's 200 grams of butter Mars bars and Milky Way bars rice krispies and milk chocolate so yeah that is a delectable delectable treat and one of these days you guys I'm gonna make some of the recipes that come in this box and others one of these days hopefully that is like my goal so wow there's so so much in this box for us to check out together I'm excited so the theme for the May box is within the Irish cottage and of course we have this beautiful image I'm just seeing a little spoiler for the June box. So it says, it says nature in Ireland, one of my favorite curations ever. I can can't wait for you to learn, enjoy, experience, and immerse yourself in the gift that is nature in Ireland. Be transported to wild Ireland and learn all about it. You'll feel like you're on a lovely nature walk with us, learning, loving it, and enjoying. You'll have many treasures to keep and you'll have so much fun on this journey of discovery within the June by Ireland box. So it's funny she says that because I feel like every month is kind of like she takes us on a beautiful walk. So let's see if that's the case this time so you can see it's kind of written like a lovely letter from Catherine and she does insert little pictures along the way so she'll tell us what she's doing sometimes she visits with some of the makers we have extra recipes this month like a ginger cake recipe a farmer's cake you have to forgive me because my Gaelic pronunciation is terrible um, and I'm seeing a couple of little spoilers oh my gosh there's a little picture of a little bunny that's hopping along the road that is so adorable and then there is usually a section here it is so there is a section that says let's meet the makers and so this is what I focus on in my unboxings to tell you all about it but like I said you guys we have a lot to talk about this time around I am seeing like seven items that's that's pretty amazing all right so I'm just gonna kind of keep this propped in front of me and maybe I will kind of start from from the top so right on top that something that was kind of cushioning everything is this beautiful it says poly dry by Samuel Lamont and sons it's like a tea towel it's like a nice like terry cloth tea towel with these beautiful shamrocks kind of embroidered in there I'm not sure if it's one or two so let me see so it's just one big nice tea towel look very absorbent looking so very lovely and of course in that classic green and white so let me just hold this up for you and see if I can find a little more information they are from Lurgan County Armagh I guess 
So it says, We bring you the symbol of Ireland in the shamrock and also the old Irish tradition of embroidery in this perfect tea towel. I always use these. They're the best. And the adorable doily set by Samuel Lamont and Sons. You guys, I have to find something else. It says, No Irish cottage would be without some form of shamrock either grown in the garden or embroidered on textiles by the cottage owner. So we've already seen our lovely little tea towel. Let me find you. Oh my gosh. So this, I think, is our, our doilies. This is so pretty. Look at these doilies with these embroidered shamrocks, you guys. So it says, Samuel Lamont & Sons Limited is a family business which has been manufacturing and supplying a wide range of household textiles for almost 200 years. Founded in 1830 by the man whose name it bears, Samuel Lamont & Sons Limited became one of Northern Ireland's foremost linen weavers. Diversifying during the 1950s into textile printing and terry towel manufacturing, Samuel Lamont soon had an enviable range of top quality household textile items. It gained the royal warrant both for retailing and for the supply bed linen. This company was fat founding member of the Irish Linen Guild and is still a member today. These two gorgeous surprises are simply perfect to represent the cottage kitchen. Enjoy them in yours. So we got not one, but you guys, there's actually two of these little doilies. They are basically eight inches and they are identical. So we got two. They're just kind of like in little pages. That is so cute. Now, this is very like cottage country, very Irish with the shamrock. So it's not necessarily something that I would have use for in my own home, maybe for a, like a special like Irish breakfast tea or something, but it is so sweet. And I do love that sort of like old school, like textiles and linens and that handicraft I think is so lovely. So let me know what you would use yours for. I think it would be very pretty if you kind of did a nice tea spread. I'm very into afternoon tea these days. All right, now the next thing you guys is this huge box. So it's a very pretty like nice keepsake box and I'm gonna be very careful with it because I have a feeling that what's inside of it might be a bit delicate. This is from Annabelle Langrish. She's got her name right there on the top. Let me see if I can get get things out of the way. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful and special. Look at this teacup, you guys. Look at the beautiful colors and the detail of this. Ah, oh, that is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, there's a little surprise there too. There's that little butterfly that you guys can see and then there's a snail on the inside edge. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Let's have snail, by the way, be our secret password for today. So whenever you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you guys, you wanna enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. And at the end of the month, I go through and I select a few winners to receive a mystery box. So definitely check out that form for all of the rules and regulations, but snail is going to be our secret password for today because I just think that is so, so sweet. So it says, Annabelle grew up in Barbados. Wow. Wow, giving her an experience of color and pattern that influences her lively, varied, and highly creative work. Moving to Ireland as a young adult, she lived in a small village in County Leitrim, where she married and raised her children. In 1993, she won the Iontis National Painting Award, which led to a series of well-received exhibitions. You guys, of course, it comes with a saucer as well, and it's got that adorable little snail right there in the center. It says, in 2005, Annabelle and her husband Klaus moved to Sheepshead in West Cork, bringing her back to the sea and mountains, which inspired another exciting phase in her artistic life. Annabelle has a very distinct style with an imaginative use of color and a love of nature and wildlife that sparks joy and lightness. Klaus and Annabelle lovingly restored their home and created a beautiful gallery and cafe, which is a hidden treasure in this remote corner of West Cork. Oh, that sounds amazing. Annabelle's unique signature style is evident throughout the gallery and garden, which is full of quirky ideas, wildlife-friendly habitats, orchard, ponds, and gorgeous, colorful borders. She's usually to be found in the garden or in her studio. And then from Catherine, I love this teacup and saucer when I saw it at the beginning of the year and I thought of the cottage dresser and I knew it had to be yours in this month's curation. Enjoy drinking from it with your new tea. You guys, now I need a set though because you know how I am with drinkware, but look how precious that is together. That is for a very special tea. And of course now I have the doilies to go with. So let me carefully put this off to the side. Oh my gosh, that is like probably one of my favorite things that I've ever received in a My Ireland box. So let me just kind of slide this out of the way because we still have more to take a look at. We have something that has appeared in past boxes and I'm always excited to see it featured once again. It is some Amela's fudge out of County Cork in this very simple packaging. Our members love this Irish butter fudge and here is more for you to enjoy with your tea. Mella began her fudge life as a young schoolgirl in Bantry, West Cork, a beautiful seaside town in the southwest of Ireland making fudge for the local sweet shop. Fast forward 15 years and having dipped her toes into the worlds of video, interior design, and cheesemongering, she decided to 
shuck all that in and dig her teeth into her original love confectionery. And then Mella's fudge was born. Based in Clonal Kilty, a stone's throw from Bantry, Mella uses only the best of ingredients, proper vanilla extract, high quality walnuts, minimum of 70 percent cocoa Belgian chocolate and of course the key ingredient throughout locally produced Irish butter from the lush postures of West Cork. I need not tell you to enjoy it. I love when we get fudge. I love when we get treats in this box and we almost always get treats because Catherine knows how to spoil us. So the next thing of course to go with our whole little tea theme for our little cottage day is some Suki tea. Oh loose leaf black tea pyramids. It says it's the Belfra Belfast brew. Nice Nice, nice package here. It says in 2005, Annie and Oscar set up a stand at a small farmer's market in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Touring about the island of Ireland, they visited farmer's markets and craft fairs, and with the very generous help of their friends, hit the music festival scene with their tea and toast setup. Having a strong brand identity and keeping true to their goals was the focus at this early stage. Having both wandered through Asia, their eyes were open to a world of really, really good ethically sourced teas, which they wanted to share with everyone. Launch was the aim to provide their customers with the finest, loosely teas, herbal infusions, and fruit blends from around the world, the pair made ethical sourcing their priority whilst delivering a quality and fresh product, and so it began. Thomas and Katie on the team here are big fans of Suki Tea, and they can't wait for you to try this Belfast brew. Enjoy it within your lovely new teacup. I love how she pairs things like that. So I'm excited that it's little tea pyramids too because that just makes it easier for a single serving instead of doing a whole pot, even though, of course, I love the classicness of doing a whole pot. So it just came in this nice little package with the pyramids. So I will be doing that very, very soon and enjoying my fudge and enjoying my doilies, all my things. All right. So now we have another kind of handcrafted item. Oh, it's this is neat. So it is um, St. Bridget's Cross. So Mary of the Gale. So we know the Gales basically is like Irish people, but my husband went to a school where they are the Gales. So um, so it says, I have, be have to begin by telling you that Patricia deserves a huge round of applause. In Gaelic, it's called Bulad, uh, Bulad Bus, Bulad Bus, an applause, because this lady handmade so, so many crosses all by herself for our members and had obstacles obstacles in her way I tell you Patricia and her family live in County Roscommon and she herself handcrafts the crosses from brush harvested from the River Shannon using traditional weaving techniques in the spring deep within the reeds Patricia will be found her sickle in her hand and she cuts the bullrush reeds and brings each hull back to her shed where she begins the drying process she is such a hard worker and I want to say what does Catherine have to say a huge thank you to her Go Raib Mile Might Agat Patricia. I have no idea how to say that. I am so sorry, Patricia and Catherine. Hang this cross above your door to protect the home. So we have this beautiful handmade out of natural uh, reeds, basically, from Ireland, the St. Bridget's Cross to put over the home, over the door for your home to protect you. That is so lovely. And of course, some information about it. Bridget was telling us about Bridget, St. Bridget. So cool. Love that. That's awesome. All right, we have some more so much stuff to talk about this time we have a lovely art print as well you guys and i have to tell you i love the art prints that we give she also makes sure that usually that they're a pretty standard size so they're very easy to frame i have a couple of them framed um i have very limited wall space though you guys you know so this art print is called within the cottage by saffron willis out of kenmar county Kerry. So it says, Saffron says it best herself, and I'm so delighted that I discovered her wonderful art that depicts Irish country living in such a unique and happy manner. So let me get this to hold up. Wow, those beautiful jewel tone colors are awesome. I'm a fourth generation fine artist based in the heritage town of Kenmar, which is located in Kerry, Southern Ireland. Art is in my blood and I feel most at home when painting. My great grandfather, Stanley Rogers, was an author and painter of marine subjects such as sailing ships. My great grandmother was the illustrator, Frankie Rogers. Her work included the popular Tea Kettle Cottage series of books as well as numerous children's books. My grandfather was the author, portrait painter, and illustrator Cedric Rogers, who illustrated for Punch and produced various children's books. My parents are members of the Gallery One Artist Cooperative in Kharkiven. Um, so they are artists and ceramicists who run the Fuchsia Cottage Pottery on the Ring of Kerry. I attended the Dunlaugher College of Art and Design and my particular interest there was drawing, particularly life drawing. I often like to paint in a softer, more illustrative, whimsical style. My illustr 
Inspiration comes from the local area in which I live and I represent the beautiful landscape and flora and fauna of Kerry and the Barra Peninsula as well as West Cork. So it says, I really love this image of the within the Irish cottage when I saw it. This is from Catherine. As it depicts the life of the cottage owner so well and displays all of the treasures that adorn the traditional Irish cottage. I really like how Saffron shows how the hearth was so central. The man seems so content. His dogs at his feet by the fire. The clothing drying and the typical cottage articles on the mantelpiece and walls. I love that you will have it hung up in your home, which I do not have a little traditional Irish cottage, but I do love that image. It is very, very sweet and very detailed when you start to really look at it. So I hope you guys got a good view of it. And then of course we have that amazing recipe, which is Kate Eileen's Mars Bar Buns. Oh my gosh. And so she tells us a little bit about how delicious those are. And then she continues the walk through the countryside and talking to different people. So let's just quickly go over all of the awesome things that we got in this May box. You guys, it always makes me so excited for the next one, but these are some definitely special pieces. So first, of course, we got some linens. We got our nice like soft tea towel with the shamrocks, as well as these doilies, which I'm not sure how I will use them, but I will find a way. We got this. I I absolutely love this teacup, you guys. I'm starting to have a teacup collection from all of the gorgeous boxes that I receive and review here, but that is definitely one of my favorites, especially because of that little snail on the inside. Of course, for our treat, we got some Mellow's Fudge and our recipes, so we can make some delicious things at home. We got our tea to go with the tea towel and the teacup, and then we also got our some home decor, our St. Bridget's Cross, which has a great story to it, and will protect your home as well as as a lovely art print depicting the Irish cottage life. So you guys let me know in the comments below what you thought about this box, what your favorite item was. I really love the like natural style of this. It really just looks like someone made it uh, to bless your home. But you guys know that that teacup and saucer are definitely my favorite. I have to check it out and see if she has some more in the boutique so I can have a whole little set. So stunning. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It would really help me out. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.